All right, yet another security outfit is reporting that millions of stolen passwords, this time for Twitter accounts, are floating around the dark side of the internet. Should you be worried is the big question. In truth, it's kind of hard to say, though. It's rapidly emerging as the latest dilemma for digital life. The website leaked source said it received a cache of Twitter data that contains 32 million records, including passwords. Twitter said that its systems haven't been breached, and leaked source said the passwords were most likely collected over time by malware-infected browsers that sent hacked passwords. Leaked source also sent out some information uh, today about the two most commonly used passwords. Really? Yes. The passwords. So they've are, aggregated all these hacked passwords. Yes. All right. Yeah. The most number one used password over 1,100 different sites. One, two, three, four, five, six. It would, that warrants a double face palm, Jeff. <laughs> the, the first thought when I heard one, two, three, four, five, six is I'm picturing space balls. What's your password? <laughs> one, <laughs> two. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, the second most used password. This one boggles my mind. Okay. Okay. Any guesses? Jesus. No. God. No. Potato. No. How about this one password, which is used 91,000 times okay. over 1,100 different sites? 18 A T. C S K D two W. What? <laughs> yes. What? The second most used password was one eight one A C T no A T C S K D two W, which was used ninety one thousand times. Is it is it leet or what is it? I, I have no clue. The best thing I can come up with is that it's from some sort of standardized password manager software. Do you think so? That's the only theory I can come up with. Does that mean anything to any of you? I, I can't. <laughs> We've got a whole bunch of viewers here. Oh, that's my password. I can't see how <laughs> ninety-one thousand passwords. It sounds strong. It does, but it's used ninety-one thousand times. What? Really you're getting a lot of action in the chat room about this password thing, and wondering. Now you're mentioning. What, what are yeah. your thoughts? So okay, so the he's got first, some theories. Folks. The first theory I had was that it's it's just a password that's you know is from some cryptic software where everybody's going, oh, I'm putting in, say Jesus, and it okay. comes out, and this is the encrypted version of it, and it gives you randomly generated, but everybody's using the same software, and maybe that's oh. how you've got it, but the, like an obfuscation software, right? But then the other theory I've got is what if it's related to a bot? There's some malware somewhere that's creating accounts so it's trying to get access to a server but mm. it's been programmed to generally create a secure password along that vein what if this, this is all theoretical and and speculative but what if there was some type of malware that co was able to compromise these accounts change their passwords and the malware developer had created this password that seems strong to change all those passwords too so that he or she could access those accounts. So maybe those accounts have already been compromised by a phishing attack or something like that, had their passwords changed to this one generic password that mm. only that malware developer knows. That would be interesting. And then the exploit, the subsequent exploit of all passwords Twitter that had gone through the system, however it was exploited, were revealed to be that password. But that... But you think crazy. the people would know. At that point, because you go to sign in and it goes, oh, your password's been changed. Yeah, but what? Unless it was just one. But what do you do attack, at that point? I don't know. You'd change it back by using your email. But what if they changed your email? Well, but at that point, they would install some sort of Trojan. All speculative. It's really tough to know how something like that could even occur. But still, the fact that it that really is the doesn't number seem, two password. It doesn't seem real. Like, people did not go and set that as their password right the only way i could see that is if it was some sort of password generating software that everybody used the same thing but if that's the case then maybe they need to look at that software because maybe there's yeah. an issue there what if what here, if we just crack the internet mystery right now here's a theory that could lead to conspiracy theory Ooh. what if there is a mobile app 
This is just off the top of my head, but it's genius. What if there's a mobile app that is a password logger generator, yep. just like the the ones that we know and trust? Yep. And people go to Twitter and they use this password generator to generate their password, thinking, oh, this is, oh, this is smart. This could be it. Right, because you put in your password. If, if the malware developer had created an app that were to, to call home and give them the actual user's password, they would be found out. So instead, they create an app that looks like it's generating a random password for that user's account, but instead, it's setting it to one that the malware developer knows. Right. So now, he knows, or she, knows that every Twitter account that has been signed up for using my app now has this password. Ah, oh, see, that would make sense. And and if it's an app on, say, their phone, it would know all the apps that they've got. It knows yes. Facebook, all that kind of stuff. But because it's not calling home, it's instead doing the opposite. It's setting all the passwords to the exact same password. So now the, the that malware developer, yes, is able to log into their Twitter accounts and their bank accounts thinking... But but nobody catches them because right. they don't realize that this random-looking password is not actually random. It's hard set. Wow. There you go. Could look have been something like look that. At what that. Potentially you right here on Cat5, we just solved the issue. We burst this thing wide open, so comment below. Please share your thoughts. Do you think yeah. I'm right? Do you think I'm right? I actually think yours is probably the most plausible. That's freaking brilliant. That's amazing. Send checks, folks. Because we know what we're talking about. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's that's you know, quite the theory, though. I gotta my say. mind is just spinning, and I'm going, i got to focus on LVM now. <laughs> yeah. To relax, that's right. we need that's to think good. about logical volume management. 